Hey Siri, let's go ATTD. Running your shortcut. OMG, I am so excited that I am going to ATTD with you. Your current blood glucose level is 4.4 and stable. I really like this. Looks like that looping thing is really working out for you. Check in for your flight to Berlin closes in 2 hours 15 minutes at Terminal 1. Hey, I hope you're doing okay. So I am going to Manchester Airport now. I'm going to Berlin for ATTD. Uh, now, disclaimer, I'm going to Berlin thanks to Roche Diabetes Care. They paid for my hotel, they paid for my flights, they paid for my pass to ATTD and food for descri full disclosure available in video description. <laughs> there is a help section and the help section is actually a, a collection of small videos and one of them is attaching the infusion assembly gray piece here that is where the cannula is it's a teflon cannula that goes into your skin a 90 degree angle two cannula sizes six and nine millimeter depending on what you need okay with this pump you have these two buttons to yeah. do yourself boluses. Yeah. What you have in terms of orientation is the sound of it. So I want to, you to listen when I'm doing it. When you want to use these two buttons, you always have to press both at the same time. That's for safety because if I wear it, for example, on a belt, there's a chance an object could press on one side, yeah. Yeah. but not on both sides at the same time. So let's do it. And okay. now, it's not very loud, so you have to listen carefully. Yep. Okay. Okay. So I press and hold. That was the sign. I can now program and I go one, two, three, four, five. Now I wait. Was it five? Yep. Okay, I press one more time. And this D D D D D that tells me now the ball actually starts running. I love this. And since the pump delivers with two units per minute, I have to talk now for 30 seconds because in 30 <laughs> seconds this ball runs through because I want to show you that when the 30 seconds are over, you also for a quick ball would get an acoustic feedback that the ball has run through so that really it is completed and the insulin is now in your body. <laughs> I've made it to my hotel. Uh, really cool day tomorrow, and I've been up for about 20 hours at this point, but I feel really, really good. It's day two, it's Thursday, and I'm going to eat tea today. Okay, let's get some breakfast.
the last dose and the, the amount of that dose. Oh, so yeah, that's the kind of it was 14 units, and yep. that's the time since the last dose. So it's like a, what was it? And I mean, to yes. save the battery, it disappears after two and six. And then uh, let's just pretend you took uh, insulin. Yep. And you have the latest 800 doses or yep. whatever yep. Uh, on the on the pen. Yep. And then you put it. Uh, this is NFC. So in this phone, the NFC sits. Yep. Yeah. So you just put the uh, pen on the phone, and then the upload starts. Oh my God. Yeah. And then uh, the pen doesn't know which kind of insulin is inside. Okay. So you need to cha to to choose that. So let's say it was kind of uh, transceiver. Yep. And then you're done. to build on the platform and continue to innovate on the CGM experience for our customers. We're going to start with some updates to the G6 app. These are updates that are in development that will be launching soon over this year. These, most of these were feedback, were based on feedback from the users. So our users who are using G6 and G5 and the mobile app have given us quite a bit of feedback. And so we've taken that feedback back to our team, uh, and basically uh, programmed their voice. And all they have to do is say, hey, Siri, what is my glucose? And Siri will repeat back glucose value and trend, which is particularly important. Uh, imagine the use case where somebody is driving uh, and they don't want to pick up their phone and uh, be distracted so they could simply say, Siri, what's my glucose? And they'll be informed of what their glucose value is as well as the trend error. The while, and the reason that it has taken a period of time has been we really want to get the user experience right with this new feature. And what it means is that a patient can leave their cell phone behind, walk away from it, and if they have an enabled watch, they can get their readings in real time on the Apple Watch. Very convenient, allows them to go to the garden, leave the phone behind. It provides is insulin and CGM data uploaded in real time to the phone and again, all of the features of share and follow, clarity with insulin, and all the data partners can be used in this system as well. But where do we go next after G6? Well, at G7, of course. <laughs> in collaboration with our partners at Verily, we're developing the new G7 system, which is an entirely new platform for continuous glucose monitoring. It's designed to be real-time, very accurate, the same consistent performance we see from the G6 system combined with a much smaller wearable as you can see here. This is the G7 compared to the G6. I just wanted to officially say hi to this incredible person. What? <laughs> I'm going to put her, I'm sure everyone is subscribed, but I'm going to put her link in the description. You're so sweet. Hello guys. Our uh, central hand It's really small. It's tiny, it's tiny. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like a um, like toy a, iPhone. Yeah, like yes. a mini iPhone. Yeah, it's like a nano or something. Okay. Next. Good. This is so cute. Hit next again. And a slight to deliver. That's all iPhone like. Wow. This is really like a toy iPhone. Yes, I know. Yeah. And you call this PDA? Yeah. as well. Yeah. 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 And you call this PDM as well. Yeah. 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 Hello, it's Friday. I am just having the best time ever here in Berlin. I just had breakfast. I am. Um, I need to pack, and uh, I'm off to ATTD again. <laughs> Back 
back at ATTD. So today is Rose Symposium. Symposium is basically like a show about their products and things and I'm so excited. It starts in one hour. But I need a coffee first. <laughs> But it is also some of the most personal information out there. And so we have to expect and frankly demand a really high bar for how that data is stored, managed, and shared. Again, with that, that idea of bringing information together, making it seamlessly available for patients, and also providing coaching and advice directly in the app so that it's simple and easy for patients to be able to access. Continuous Blue Cross system in order to overcome all the limits in the continuity wearing of the CGM. Everything consists of three elements, the sensor, the smart transmitter, and the medical mobile app. The sensor is very small, the diameter is less than 3 millimeters and the length is less than 18 millimeters. The sensor is totally inserted under the skin, that is a really new technology. Why smart transmitter? Not only because it activates the sensor, but smart because the transmitter provides ongoing alerts not only for hypers and hyper, but also for predictive low values and predictive high values. There are different vibrations for hypers and for hyper. And this is the place where all patients share their experience with the sensor and they also post the best green pie uh, indicating the time in range. It consists of the pump device on the left, and a handset which controls the pump, which includes self-monitoring for glucose functionality. To the physician, and then the physician will go back to see the data online, and then to give the feedback using the, the Facebook and mostly the WhatsApp. For the most populated um, um, country in the world, it's 2.2 million of people. So it can be used the Facebook is an uh, uh, educational protocol and even for the treatment of our patient with the type 1 diabetes. One of every fourth um, the person with the, um, they, they use the social media to, uh, um, uh, to talk about the, the health experience. Patient, they use combined Facebook, Viber and WhatsApp uh, mobile media. In the virtual um, online clinics using the social media, they can improve the, uh, the diabetes management and opposite to visiting the regular clinics. Thank you for, for your time and see you online. Dexcom has Brandon on the underground station floor. Okay. It's the G6. Dexcom has even more. <laughs> Dex Company 6 is approved in Canada! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> okay, let's do it for Kibble Vlog, ready? That was amazing, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it together, so I'm going to 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 It's Saturday, my last day here, last day of a conference as well. Honestly, I am so, so, so grateful that Roche brought me here. Oh, I'm just having the best time. And also, it's it's just like so exciting. My sugar party yesterday was great. Also, I didn't really vlog it, but it was so good. I just had the best time speaking to people. It, yeah. Let's go to HTT again. <laughs> Thank you.
support system. So there's obviously nobody sitting at a at an office taking technical support calls on these DIY systems, right? So it's uh, it's it's just it's it's a really interesting phenomenon. Um, it was, number one, I think, was to accelerate the delivery to market of products that can help people with type 1 diabetes. Compare and contrast this graph to the previous, uh, the traditional, the traditional uh, configuration. Essentially what we can do now is draw boxes around each of these components, define them very clearly, and um, put them through the regulatory process individually, connect them afterwards. Hey Siri. 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 H